Welcome back to the month of Paradox with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be doubling up for a three-minute philosophy video here with the Liar Paradox. In this video, we're going to be looking at the cyclical Liar Paradox and Tarski's Hierarchy of Truth. So when last we left truth and lies, our Liar Paradox went as follows. This statement is not true. Well, what if someone objected that statements that reference themselves are problematic? In fact, let's just call them meaningless. Therefore, all the statements you've uttered so far are just meaningless. Well, ignoring the problems we had with this earlier, that seems to make statements like this statement is true and all true statements are true meaningless. Those seem to be things we would want to be able to say about the world. So, using this schema overall, we seem to not be able to say important things in our language. And more importantly, it doesn't seem to go far enough as we can still create a paradox. The statement below is not true, and the statement above is true. If the first statement is true, then the second statement is not true. But if the second statement is not true, then the first statement is not true. And if the first statement is not true, then the second statement is true. And if the second statement is true, then the first statement is true. And we have a nice little paradox. Well, what if truth responded by saying that then we need to get rid of those tight circles as well? They're problematic, too. How are we going to do this? Well, let's use something like Tarski's hierarchy of truth. Tarski says that there are different kinds of truth. Truth 0, truth 1, truth 2, and so on. Note, this is just going to be a basic understanding of what Tarski says about truth. If you want more information, check out the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Whenever we speak of the truth of some statement S, we must use a subscript, one higher than anyone found in S, or the statement is just going to be meaningless. So, of the statement, snow is white, we might say that it is true zero, as it contains no truth predicates. While of the statement, snow is white is true zero, we might say that that statement is true one. We couldn't say that it's true zero, though, because it contains in it the true zero predicate. So, if we look at this statement is not true of itself, we would see that it is meaningless as to refer to a statement with true zero, we need a statement with true one. However, we could in fact say this statement is not true zero of itself is not true one. Why? Because it in fact is meaningless, so it's not true one. But we don't run into a contradiction because not true zero and not true one aren't the same thing. Similarly, the first statement can't refer to the second, because the first statement has to be of a higher truth level than the second, while the second, in fact, has to be a higher truth level than the first. This may seem to resolve the paradox, but I think that lies have another response, because this schema seems to create its own paradoxes. Imagine that James says that everything that John says is true. This seems to be fine on its own, so long as the level of this statement is of a higher level than all of John's statements. However, if John then says that everything that James says is true, this statement has to be of a higher level than the last one, and they each have to be of a higher level than each other. So, we have a paradox, because that's impossible. But, it seems plausible for James and John to save each other that everything they say is true. So we've created a paradox where one didn't exist before. Therefore, we have a problem with this truth hierarchy schema. Question for you is, are these cyclical liar paradoxes veridical, falsitical, or antinomious? Watch a new paradox video every single day this month here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.